The Lean 5S system contains five steps to achieving a more organized, controlled, and efficient manufacturing factory. These steps are sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. And in this video, I discuss the simplest step in the 5S process, and that is the shine step. Shining stuff, it just sounds really fun, right? You know, like shining up a magical genie lamp, but shining things in a factory, it's not exactly enthralling work. However, it can definitely be rewarding. The level of difficulty in the shine step, it depends on the level of grime that needs to be cleaned off the surfaces and the floors. I've toured many a factory that look like they haven't been cleaned in over 50 years, while other plants seem to be spotless. The range of housekeeping performance, it can be vast. So the amount of Kaizen time required to complete the shine step, it varies greatly too. But regardless, you gotta start somewhere, right? Leading a Kaizen team through the shine stage of a 5S event requires a focus on safety. Doing a deep clean within the walls of a factory can present a high risk for injuries. That is, if you don't take the appropriate precautions. The Kaizen leaders should discuss specific areas of risk with each 5S Kaizen team. These risks include potential slips, trips, falls, cuts from sharp objects, pinching toes and fingers under heavy objects, skin reactions to cleaning solutions, dehydration, heat exhaustion, and airborne particulate getting into somebody's eyes. Making everyone aware of these conditions and risks is the first step of the shine phase of a 5S project. After the general safety awareness discussion, review the safety data sheets of any cleaning chemicals that you're going to be using during the 5S event and ensure that the proper PPE is distributed to each team member. Next, establish your shine plan. Discuss your best cleaning methods. For example, you want to start cleaning at the highest point in the production room as possible. You want the dirt and grime to fall onto the floor and then clean the floor last. Then discuss your cleaning supplies. This includes the scrubbies, the rags, the solutions, mops, buckets, floor scrubbers, etc. Don't just assume that everybody knows how to clean a factory. The more detailed your cleaning plan is, the lower the risk of injury. The more efficient the shine process will be and the better results that the team will achieve. So use the classroom and have a pre-shine discussion to set the stage for a shining success. After the team has a solid plan, hit the floor and start shining. If someone asks, does this get cleaned or does that get cleaned? The answer is most probably yes. Unless somebody can be exposed to an unsafe condition, you want the team cleaning every aspect of the area within the scope of the project. Of course, you can't clean the entire plant, but the area that you are assigned to clean, detail it out. It's almost like a car detailing. You want the team to get into every nook and cranny and clean it. Lastly, be ready to write maintenance work orders. Quite often when people start doing a deep clean, they find abnormal conditions such as leaky machine oil, crushed wires, and worn out equipment. Explain to the team that if they see these things to let you know and commit to writing the maintenance work orders to have all those issues corrected. Shine on. My name is Joe Joyce and I'm with Tools for the Trenches. If you work in manufacturing, then visit us, follow us, and subscribe to Thrive.